Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay you guys, today's video is just going to be a product review. I'm going to be reviewing a few products from Nutra Keto, Nutritional Ketosis. This is their brand name. Um, you can find them at NutraKeto.com, just in case you're wondering. And you can order whatever that you like off there. I will go over a little bit of the products in just a minute. But my package has already came. I've already opened it. I have not tried any products. And plus this um, video is not sponsored. So I bought these with my own money. Um, this is the package that it comes in. It's just a just a simple little package like this. And you get, like I said, you get the card um, with the first time use code on the back. Then you get a little bit of information about the company. Um, let's see, about the company. It says, Welcome to Nutra Keto. We are a community of people dedicated to sharing the benefits of the low carb, high fat lifestyle and keto adaptation. At Nutra Keto, we are committed to providing real world solutions for sustainable weight loss and optimal health through the body's natural process known as nutritional ketosis. Although ketosis is not new, we believe the keto adapted movement Though nutritional ketosis is a quantum link through the evolution of health and human performances. Um, these are the products that I got. These are the ketone shakes. And then I got two of the BHB intensity flavors. I've got um, cherry limeade. And I have a strawberry lemonade. And then I've got seven shakes. These are all different flavors. I've got the vanilla cake batter, the salted caramel, Dutch chocolate, vanilla coconut cream, pumpkin spice, creme brulee, and orange cream. Now, I will not be trying all of these products in one day. I will be trying two of these products. But they have other um, other things um, in their company. The ketone shakes, which are these, the ketone shakes, they have 20 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein, and 3 carbs. So that's really, really good. You can... Um, when I spoke to the um, company, they said that these can go for a meal replacement if you want them to. The ketone shakes are the, let's see if I can get all of these. Let's see, that's a cappuccino, cappuccino, and these are the shakes. These are the three shakes that I have. The vanilla cake batter is a shake. The Dutch chocolate is a shake. And the orange cream is a shake. Um, it says the ketone shake makes a perfect ketogenic meal or a pre-post workout snack. And it's available in multiple, multiple flavors. Let's see what they have. It's just, yeah, the Dutch chocolate, the cake batter, and the orange cream, and then the seasonal flavor is eggnog. And then you have the keto cappuccinos, which are 11 grams of fat, one gram of protein, and three carbs. And they says to jumpstart your day or your daily workout and promises to keep you full and satiated for hours. So you have the salted caramel in the cappuccino, the creme brulee, the pumpkin spice, and the vanilla coconut cream. Those are the cappuccinos. 
and the seasonal flavor is the pumpkin spice. Now the BHB intensity, let's see, um, it just comes in the two flavors which is the strawberry lemonade and the cherry limeade. It does not have, it just says 10 grams of BHB on it. It doesn't have any more nutritional value on that. And then also, it has the Keto Fudge, which I do not have that. I didn't order that. It has 13 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein, and 2 carbs. Um, let's see. It is available in chocolate chip cookie dough and double chocolate brownie. It's, um... Like I said, it's just a fudge, and then you can just, like, put it in the refrigerator to get it cold, and then cut it into 20 different individual pieces, so that way you can have, you know, limits on your fudge. And then it has Keto Salt and Trace min Minerals and Keto Veggies. I do not have those. They do offer a Keto Reboot Camp. Um says to learn more about that at ketorebootcamp.com. So if you're interested in that, you can just visit this website. And the here's the information on the BHB intensity. Let's see. It's one serving, 35 calories, 440, or excuse me, 540 milligrams of salt, 3 grams of carbs, no fiber, no sugars one sugar alcohol and two net carbs for the strawberry lemonade and pretty much the same thing for the cherry limeade so that is good I will be trying the BHB intensity first because I've I usually drink my um, prove it ketones in the morning and that gives me sustained energy throughout the day but I'm going to take a few days off of that just to try out these products for you and let you know how they are. Um, I will be doing the BHB Intensity first because, like I said, I do my ketones in the morning. And it just says to mix with 16 ounces of water. So I've got a shaker cup here full of water. It had ice in it, but it, it has already melted. Um, so I'm just going to put this into my little shaker cup and the it's like white powder in there I don't know if you can see that which is good it's not it might change color I'm not sure so you just put that down into your water and you just attach your lid And then you just shake it up until it's all dissolved. It doesn't dissolve easily. My ketones from Prove It, they dissolve rather quickly. But that doesn't determine anything. It just might be because I don't have ice in there. I just don't want to take a drink of of this and then just have like little clumps of powder in there. Okay, now I've got that all mixed up. This is what it looks like. It turned it a little light pink color, which is fine. We have one similar in Prove It, which is, um, we call it the pink drink. It smells like like the Kool-Aid packets, like if you go to the store and you pick up the strawberry lemonade Kool-Aid packets, um, that's what it smells like to me. It doesn't smell bad at all, so that's good. It kind of tastes like it too. It's got a 
sweet taste to it. It's It tastes really good. I, I will give it that. It, it really does have a good flavor to it. But, I want to see how it performs. It didn't mix well quickly like I would like it to, but that's fine. It's not a um, game changer for me. I'm not going to, you know, lean too much on, on that. Um, the flavor is really good. It's really, it's got a sweet taste to it. It smells really good. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste, um, but I do want to see how it performs, um, such as focus, clarity, energy, um, how I sleep, and everything like that, because I am, I'm holding it to a high standard because I'm so used to taking the Privet Ketones, um, they are the best in the business, but this is not about prove it. We are testing out the Nutriketo. So far, it's good. I'm going to drink half of this, and then I'm going to clean the house and then sip on the rest, just like I would do my other ketones, and see how my energy and focus and clarity and everything does. Now, I'm not going to rate it on weight loss because you will have to drink this longer than one day to notice any results on weight loss. So I'm not going to judge it on that. I'm just going to do the clarity and the focus, energy, things like that, that I would normally um, feel quickly with my other ketones so like I said I'm just going to drink this I'm going to clean up the house a little bit and um, for lunch I will make one of these shakes just to try these out and let you know how they perform now I will not try the cappuccinos today because it is so late it is it's almost three here so I don't want to caffeinate too much because I do want to um, sleep tonight so I don't want to be up all night because I drank caffeinated or cappuccino so I will try those tomorrow or I will try at least one tomorrow and see how that goes but right now I'm just going to do the intensity and I will catch you guys back in just a bit okay guys it has been a few hours and I've exercised and I've cleaned my house and I've got some stuff ready for um, dinner tonight um, so I am just going to be trying a ketone shake now this is the gourmet Dutch chocolate this is what it looks like if you can see that. I figured I would try the chocolate because that is what a majority of the people want to try when they do shakes because it's a little bit more easier and a little bit more comparable. So there are 220 calories in here and serving size is one packet. There is 20 grams of fat, um, let's see, 130 milligrams, excuse me, 300 milligrams of sodium, 3 carbs, no fibers, 2 sugars, and no added sugars, and 7 grams of protein in just this one shake. So, it says to mix it with 8 to 10 ounces of water. I've just got 10 ounces of water in here with my little shaker ball. And I'm going to try to open this without getting chocolate powder all over my office desk. It smells 
it smells kind of like the Nesquik chocolate milk powder. Not so much like the Hershey's. And it's also a chocolate color. I don't know if you can see that. But we'll just pop that right down in there. We will pop the lid on. Close that up. And give this a shake. Now it says to blend this. I'm sorry if the camera keeps going out of focus. But it says to blend this in a blender. But you, if, if you are out and you want to shake and you just do this in the bag, you would want to just throw it in a shaker cup of water with your little shaker ball and shake it up and go from there. That's what I am going to be judging this on. I'm not going to put it in a blender because not a lot of people want to carry blenders around with them. So, I'm just going to shake this up and see if this will help. Because that glare of the light back there is probably what's making it go in and out of focus. There are bits and pieces. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom there. Right there. This is something that I'm not too great about because if I want to just throw it in a shaker cup and blend it up and not carry around a portable blender, I want it to mix up really well. And I don't want to have to sit here and shake it forever to get it to mix. But if you are at home, you can mix this in a blender with water or almond milk. 8 to 10 ounces of it. It's got a slight cinnamon smell to it. Not necessarily what you would want your chocolate shake to smell like. You want, if, if you have a chocolate shake, you want it to smell like chocolate. This smells like cinnamon batter, if that makes sense. Like you're making um, chocolate cinnamon cookies, and batter smells like more cinnamon than chocolate. It's slight gritty tastes familiar it did you can definitely taste the cinnamon in this so this is not necessarily a chocolate shake it's more like a cinnamon flavored shake it might be a little bit better with almond milk I just wanted to try it with water just to get a fair review but it smells like cinnamon it tastes like cinnamon not necessarily something you would want your chocolate shake to smell or taste like if you want chocolate if you buy chocolate you want it to taste like chocolate it's got a slight grittiness to it but um it's something i can get over it's it's not that bad this is what it looks like. It's just chocolate color. I'm not a big fan of this flavor. There are a lot more better flavors out there to choose from in other companies, but as far as the Dutch chocolate, yeah, this is the gourmet Dutch chocolate is the one that I had. The the ingredients is sweet cream, MCT oil, um, a freeze-dried whole egg, whey protein, cocoa, keto salt, natural flavorings, cinnamon, and stevia. 
maybe if they cut back on the cinnamon it would be a lot better because you want this to taste like Dutch chocolate and not like a cinnamon flavored water if that makes sense but it is good I will um, I will drink this um, I don't recommend the flavor I recommend you try something else um, but as far as the BHB goes, I did not notice a energy spike like I would in my regular ketones. Um, I do have a little bit more energy, but nothing that um, makes me want to do something, if that makes sense. With my other ketones, after you drink half of it, you are you have a lot of energy and you you, you want to go do something you want to go clean or exercise or go walk or or something like that but with these ketones I did not notice that I did not notice a difference in my mental clarity or my focus I found myself doing too many things at once like my mind wasn't concentrating on one certain thing it was just going so as far as the flavor goes, yes, I would recommend it. Um, if this company is something that you are wanting to try, I would recommend it. Um, maybe their other flavors are better. I still have quite a few more flavors to try. Um, but as far as the chocolate flavor, if they would cut back on the cinnamon in there and up the chocolate flavor it would be a lot better but if you love cinnamon then you would definitely love this i don't mind cinnamon so it's not going to bother me that much but as far as um the name and the flavor goes when you when you think of Dutch chocolate, you want it to be chocolatey. You don't want it to taste like cinnamon. So that was a no go for me. Um, the flavor isn't okay for me. I will definitely try the. I, if I would order this again, but not on a regular basis. Um, I would probably order this for if I want something cinnamon flavored um, but as far as that goes I would definitely recommend you checking them out and trying them for yourself I want to try the cake batter next I just threw them all back into the package here um, I do have the two keto shakes left. I do have the orange cream and the vanilla cake batter. So hopefully those two are a little bit better. The ingredients for the orange cream are sweet, excuse me, sweet cream, MCT oil, um, protein, a fla natural flavorings, keto salt, cinnamon, and stevia. Maybe that won't taste like cinnamon pretty much the same for the vanilla cake batter as well um, they shouldn't put cinnamon in all of their flavors because cinnamon is a very dominant flavor and it will pretty much take over if you're not careful with it so hopefully these two will not taste like cinnamon like the chocolate does um, but if, like I said, if you like cinnamon, you will definitely like this. Maybe you can try adding it into some milk or almond milk and trying it that way. Um, but as far as that goes, that's an okay with me. Like I said, I will have to try these a little bit more. Um, this is just a review on the two flavors. I do have the remaining cappuccino flavors like the vanilla coconut cream, the pumpkin spice, the creme brulee, and the salted caramel. I probably will not try the pumpkin spice until it gets a little bit colder. 
and probably the creme brulee I will wait. So the first two I would probably try are the coconut cream or the salty caramel. Um, do not have cinnamon in the coconut cream or the salted caramel. Yeah, they do not have the cinnamon in these, so if you're interested in that, you could check that out. I have not tried them yet. I will probably have one in the morning for breakfast. Um, but as for the BHB, I do recommend these. Um, you will not get an instant boost of energy or the focus or clarity that you would with the Prove It Ketones. That's why I like taking the Prove It Ketones because they give me that in, you know, instant boost of energy and it keeps me going all day long. But I would recommend these because you do get energy with these, just not as much as the Prove It Ketones. And the taste is really good. Now keep in mind when you first start um, taking ketones, the first drink is going to be extremely sweet that is just how ketones work so keep that in mind um, after you drink your first ketone it will not be as sweet as the first one so keep that in mind I still want to try the cherry limeade I might give this to my daughter and let her try this um, because she does drink the prove it ketones and it helps her focus more in school so that is a plus for me I like you know giving that to her in the morning times in her little um, shaker cup that she takes to school and she can just sip on that throughout the day and it will help her keep her energy up and her mental focus and clarity so that way she can concentrate better in school I do not know if these would do that. Like I said, these are just a review on these. So, um, if you do like this brand, let me know in the comments below. Um, I probably would um, buy these again. Just, you know, to keep on hand. So, alright you guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And Hit that little subscribe button down below so you won't miss out on any of my videos. And tick that little notification bell so YouTube will um, know to send you the notifications because they've been a little funny lately. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.